Okay, so are you ready to explore Planet X today? Always up for a deep dive, especially into a world that's basically immortality in the air, right? <laughs> right. I mean, talk about a selling point. Uh -huh. And knowing your fascination with AI, space exploration, and, well, the future of humanity in general, this one is right up your alley. We're taking a deep dive into the first 10 chapters of Planet X this time around. Should be interesting. Absolutely. It's got all the right ingredients for a classic sci-fi adventure, a desolate planet, a mysterious artifact, a crew of experts venturing into the unknown, and, of course, a healthy dose of existential questions to ponder. Yeah, no shortage of those. But what really struck me about the opening of Planet X was how it balances those big sci-fi concepts with a surprisingly relatable protagonist, Sriniti. Right. Here's a guy whose background is in, of all things, digital marketing. Yeah. You don't often see interstellar explorers whose biggest concerns used to be click-through rates and SEO optimization. It's such a great twist. Like, imagine going from optimizing landing pages to, I don't know, navigating a hostile alien landscape. <laughs> Talk about a career change, huh? I can't even imagine. And the novel really leans into that contrast, the way Srinidhi's almost mundane background clashes with the extraordinary situation he finds himself in. I mean, he's suddenly facing decisions that could have consequences on a galactic scale. Talk about pressure. One minute you're worried about your website's bounce rate, the next you're holding the fate of, well, potentially multiple civilizations in your hands. It makes you think, what would we take from our everyday lives, mentally, if we were suddenly thrust into that kind of situation? It's a fascinating thought experiment, isn't it? And Planet X doesn't shy away from those big questions. Right from the start, Srinidhi is grappling with moral dilemmas, the unintended consequences of accessing incredible but potentially dangerous knowledge. It's a theme that resonates throughout these first 10 chapters, and I think it speaks to a lot of our anxieties about the rapid advancement of technology in our own time. Absolutely, and it makes you wonder, are we truly prepared for the kind of future hurtling toward us? Or any of us, really? It's like you're just getting your bearings in this world and bam, the story throws you for a loop. Literally. The Samadron Paradox, right? Wow. What a wild concept. Talk about a mind bender. Imagine being caught in a time loop, reliving the same events over and over again. Every time they reach a certain point, boom, back to square one. Memories wiped clean. How would you even begin to process that? It'd be terrifying. It's like that frustrating feeling of being stuck on a problem, trying the same solution over and over, hoping for a different outcome. Except, in this case, the stakes are amplified exponentially. They're light years away from everything familiar dealing with this cosmic reset button. Exactly. And what I find fascinating is how Planet X uses this time loop not just as a plot device, but as a way to explore the nature of learning and growth. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's less about being stuck and more about the potential for discovery within that repetition, right? Yeah, precisely. At first, the crew is understandably freaking out. But then they start to see the loop differently as an opportunity. Each cycle becomes a chance to observe, to analyze, to test out different approaches, almost like running simulations, trying to crack a complex code. It's like the universe is saying, all right, you missed that crucial detail. Now you've got another chance to catch it. Given your interest in AI, I bet this whole concept really gets those gears turning, right? Thinking about how artificial intelligence approaches problem solving through trial and error iteration. Absolutely. It's a great parallel. And as the crew delves deeper into this time loop puzzle, they stumble upon something remarkable hidden within those ancient ruins. A library. Not just any library, of course. This one houses the Xeno Chronicles, basically, the historical records of Planet X's original inhabitants. Whoa, talk about a treasure trove of information. Like stumbling upon lost scrolls from a civilization that might hold the key to understanding, well, everything. And here's the kicker. The Xeno Chronicles reveal a civilization that's eerily similar to our own, especially their trajectory, their triumphs, their innovations, but also their downfalls. This is not just a history lesson. Yeah. It's a warning, too. Almost like looking into a mirror, seeing our own potential future reflected back at us. Exactly. They grappled with environmental disasters, societal unrest, the allure of unchecked ambition, all the challenges we're facing right now on Earth. It makes you wonder, are we doomed to repeat those same mistakes? Especially if we had access to their knowledge, to those warnings, would we even listen? Would we heed them? It really makes you think. It's like holding your breath, right? You see this other civilization teetering on the edge, making those same mistakes, and you just want to reach out and, I don't know, warn them or something. And in a way, that's what the crew is grappling with. They've got this front row seat to the rise and fall of an entire civilization. It's heavy stuff. Absolutely. And then, as if the Xeno Chronicles weren't enough, 
they stumble upon something even more potent. The Genesis Protocol, am I right? Ah, uh, yes, the Genesis Protocol. Imagine holding the power of creation itself. Talk about a game changer. No kidding. We're not just talking about terraforming a planet here. We're talking about manipulating the very building blocks of life. The possibilities, the potential, but also the risks. It's almost too much to comprehend. And that's where the real ethical dilemmas kick in, especially with the introduction of the Andox Combine. Oh man, those guys. Classic case of wanting the power, but not the responsibility yeah. that comes with it, right? Precisely. They see the Genesis Protocol as a weapon, a means to an end. It's a stark reminder that no matter how advanced a civilization becomes, those base instincts greed, the lust for power, they never really go away. It's a cautionary tale within a cautionary tale. Mm -hmm. So the crews in this pressure cooker, they're processing the weight of the Xeno Chronicles. They've got this rival faction breathing down their necks, all while sitting on this technology that could reshape, well, everything. It's the ultimate test. What do you do when faced with that level of power? Especially when there are those who would exploit it. And what Planet X does so brilliantly is it forces us to ask those questions, too. It's not just a problem for these characters to solve. It's something we have to grapple with as well, especially with the way technology is advancing in our own time. Right. It's like looking into a funhouse mirror, distorted but still recognizable. Yeah. And what's the crew's response? They make a choice that speaks volumes about, I think, the potential for good hmm. that lies at the heart of humanity. They don't just wipe out the threat, they find another way. Exactly. They could easily gone the scorched earth route, use the Genesis Protocol to obliterate the Andox Combine, but they don't. They choose a different path, a defensive strategy that neutralizes the threat without resorting to mass destruction. It's a powerful message of hope, isn't it? Even in the face of extinction, they choose compassion. They choose life. And then, just when you think you have a handle on where the story's going, Planet X throws another curveball. Shreedy, through his connection with the planet's AI, he undergoes this transformation. Talk about a merger. He becomes something more than human, able to access knowledge beyond our wildest dreams. It's almost like tapping into the collective wisdom of an entire civilization, right? Precisely. But with that immense knowledge comes an even greater burden of responsibility. It's no longer just about completing the mission. It's about what they do with this newfound understanding, how they choose to use it. The fate of two worlds resting on their shoulders, it's a lot to process. It is. And just as they're grappling with that weight, a new path presents itself. The portal appears. The ultimate unknown beckoning them forward. And the choice they're presented with, it's one that I think resonates with all of us. Do they return to a troubled earth armed with this incredible knowledge, hoping to steer humanity towards a better future? Or do they venture into the unknown, potentially sacrificing everything they know for a chance at even greater understanding? It's a question that stays with you long after you finish the book. What would you do? Would you take that leap into the unknown? It's a question worth pondering, don't you think? And on that note, we'll leave you to ponder that. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into Planet X. Until next time, keep exploring.